investigate the relationship between period and length of a simple pendulum. Hence, to find the value for g, the acceleration due to gravity. The apparatus is a meter stick, a retort stand, a clamp, two coins, thread, a bob, and a timer. The purpose of the two coins is to give it a definite point of suspension from which to measure length. We measure the length from the point of suspension to the center of gravity of the ball. It's essential that the pendulum swings through an angle of less than 10 degrees. If the angle is too big, the formula g equals 4 pi squared l over t squared fails to apply. We measure the length of the pendulum between the point of suspension and the center of gravity of the ball. Then measure the time taken for 30 full oscillations with the timer. The period of the pendulum, capital T, is equal to this time divided by 30. Graph the length of the pendulum against the period squared. Use standard units. Draw the best straight line and find the slope of this M. G equals 4 pi squared multiplied by the slope. The length of the pendulum is 70 centimeters or 0.7 meters. The time for 30 oscillations is 50 seconds. The period is 50 divided by 30. Repeat for different lengths. We change the length by pulling the thread up for different lengths. <coughs> Since the graph is a straight line through the origin, this shows the length of the pendulum is directly proportional to the square of its period. 